Hello and welcome to part two of this two-part Fiery Friday series. I'm Rob Lienti, Senior Sales Development Manager for EFI's Fiery Business Unit. And today we're going to continue our process of creating a custom output profile using Fiery Color Profiler Suite. Then we're going to verify those results to see if we're within the G7 targeted compliance parameters. In part one, I showed you how to create a G7 calibration using Fiery's Color Profiler Suite along with a ES2000, then measuring those patches with the ES2000, then allowing Color Profiler Suite to pull our grade balance measurements into a passing state. Now the next step is to print out our color patches for our color output profile. In this example here, I'm going to leave the patch sets to 928, and then we're going to hit the print button. So once we hit the print button, this is going to send our patch set over to the printer to print. And then we will calibrate our ES2000 using Color Profiler Suite. And then once this is calibrated, we will take our patches that we just printed out on our fiery driven device and we'll start measuring with the ES2000. Once we're done doing our measurements, we'll hit the next button and see what the results are of our readings. So you'll notice here on this screen, we had a average measured variation of 0.7 for the Delta E and a max Delta E of 2.9, which is not too bad. We'll hit the next button, which will take us to a screen that will allow us to edit some of our separation settings and black controls. In this example, we're going to leave those along and just hit the next button. And then finally, we can add some notes to our profile. In this case, again, we'll, we'll do anything. We'll hit next and we will process the profile. So once the profile is finished processing, it will be installed on our fiery driven device. So now we can hit the done button and move to our next process, which will be verifying that our profile is passing G7 targeted compliance. Now from the Color Profiler Suite main window, we're gonna click the Verify button, which will open up Fiery Verify. So for our print settings, we're gonna select the Fiery server that the profile and the calibration set was installed on, along with a job property called Gloss Text G7. Color Profiler Suite installs this on the Fiery after we create the profile along with all the proper settings that are required, including the output profile and the paper stock used for our verification. The last thing we're going to do is select our verification preset. In this example, we're going to use our G7 targeted. So what G7 targeted compliance means, and this is from ID Alliance, is it's achieved when a printing process passes G7 grayscale compliance and the CIE lab values on the primary and secondary solid ink patches and substrates match a selected CRPC within tolerances. With that said, we'll hit the next button and start measuring our patches using our ES2000 to see whether or not we have a pass or a fail for our G7 targeted compliance. So we'll hit the next button and see our results. So here we're showing a pass. If we hit the detail button, we can then go look in greater detail of what values we're looking at. So here you can see on the right hand side is our results from our tolerances versus calculated. If we hit the label button, we can actually create a label with all of our tolerances that we can put on a print that would be required, like so. You'll notice here on the right, on the left hand side rather, if we scroll up and down, you can look at all the different reference points on our patch sets of what the values are supposed to be versus what were measured. Then finally, if we go click on the report button, we can create a paper report or a PDF report that will show what's inside of the Fiery Verify, which is going to show not just the results, but all the measurement data with the samples versus the reference points that are available. So that's how easy it is to create a, a G7 calibration and an output profile and then verify with Fiery Color Profiler Suite. I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Fiery Friday. If you have any questions about the video you saw today, please feel free to reach out to me at rob.lienti at EFI.com or message me on LinkedIn. Have a great weekend.